Hey RTV, this is Jake Mack with another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Gaussian blur for your images for your TV projects. Um, if you are using Photoshop, you can follow along here. If you're not, if you're using something else that allows you to do that, uh, then go right ahead. But I'm going to do it in Photoshop today. I'm going to create a new project. And at the top, you're going to see you have all of these preset uh, formats for your Photoshop files. Um, we're going to be using the film and video in the 1080 option it should be the first one um, but if you're doing something else you have all these different options but we're going to be using the 1080 today you can double check your settings here this all should be good by default and i'm going to hit create and it's going to bring up a new film and video 1920 by 1080 project and you can see we're all zeroed out and it gives you these very nice and handy uh, safe title area markers so if you're doing something that is not just an image if you're doing a graphic all text Anything that has anything you have to read should be within these blue markings here. All right, so just a side note on that, I'm going to bring in an image that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this Mark Ruffalo image. I'm going to drag that into my project. You're going to see we have white on the sides. That's because that's my background layer. And generally, when you guys just use an image without doing this, um, you just have black on the edges. Um, we're going to make sure that we don't have that so we, everything goes full screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my image here. I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna do Command J on a Mac. It should be Control J on a PC, I believe. Or you should be able to duplicate the layer by going right clicking and hitting duplicate layer. So on the top layer, I'm gonna leave this one alone. I'm not gonna touch that top layer. The bottom one, I'm gonna rescale. So I'm gonna go to my move tool I'm going to hit Command T. That'll bring up my transform option. And I'm going to scale this up. I'm holding the option key, and that'll let me scale it from the middle. So I'm holding the option key, and I'm dragging. I'm filling the entire screen, and I'm going to hit Enter and save that. I mean, this looks a little weird right now. And then we're going to add the Gaussian Blur filter on top of that. So on that bottom layer, I'm going to go up to my filter. I'm going to go to Blur and then Gaussian Blur. It's gonna bring up this little pop-up window, and this is showing you how many pixels it is actually blurring. Um, this isn't too bad. I like mine a little bit softer, just to right around there. You wanna be able to see what the background image is without it being very distracting. So if you did something like this, this is pretty much nothing. All right, so you wanna be able to see what the image is behind it without it being too distracting. So I'm gonna go right around 30 pixels, something like that. And I'm going to hit OK. And that is, that's pretty much it. So now when you guys have your images and you can bring them full screen, it's not going to look weird. It's not going to have any black wings on the side. Um, so I'm going to go over and save this. You're going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to let it pull up my window here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name this Test. And by default, if you're, you're working in the newer version of Photoshop, it's not going to give you the option for a JPEG, because we want to either save these as a JPEG or a PNG, whichever one you prefer is fine. Um, but you can save the Photoshop file first, um, but if you already have done that, I'm going to hit save as copy, and it's going to bring up pretty much the same window, but now we have more options to save here. So I would do JPEG, and just make sure whatever folder you're working out of, that's where you're saving your project here. And then I'm going to hit save, and then OK. And then that is it. That's how you do the Gaussian Blur for your photos when you guys are doing your TV projects.